My name is Jerome Smith, also known as JS, aka The Best, and welcome to the first episode of Sync Music Mondays. What I'm about to do, I'm about to introduce to you all my co host, my man, my brother, Kyle Hunter, also known as K Sparks. What's good, man? What's good, brother? What's going on, man? Everything healthy, man? We good. We alive and blessed, man. We alive and blessed. Yeah, living the dream. We living the dream. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. We excited, man. This, yo, this is the first episode of sync music mondays man so this is fire um we we've been excited for a while a lot of people been signing up subscribing so this is going to be amazing and we're going to build a strong community man so you know well i think out the gate jay you know like like we was talking about before we told a lot of people we don't want this to be like just a traditional podcast show like nah we we elevating so what we do we start our shows off a little bit differently and uh, we started off with the word of the day. What is today's word of the day? So today's word of the day, for the people out there, y'all can see it on the screen, cancel every relationship that only makes withdrawals. I'll say it again, cancel every relationship that only makes withdrawals. And basically, essentially what that's saying is that, you know, you got a lot of people that come and go in your life, um, whether it be friends, whether it be family, a lot of things are situational. But you oftentimes find people that um, they just take more than they give. So the reality is like whatever you do, if you're a musician, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business person, you got to ensure that you protect your energy and you make sure that that relationship is mutually beneficial. So, you know, today, just take inventory of your circle. Take a look at the people that actually pour into you, that actually have positive energy, people that you can reciprocate that off of and feed off that, man. And that is the word of the day. Yeah, you can't pour from an empty glass. You got to make sure you're full yourself in order to get to others because you don't want to be drained. Like, nobody wants that. Facts. Facts, man. Facts. Nobody got time for that. That's bad energy. Nah, keep the same energy. Keep the same energy, right? So, <laughs> let's get into these W's. Facts. So, today's show is going to be the five W's. The who, the what, the when, the where, and the why. And um, essentially... Like I was telling Jay before, I think it's important that you get to know us in regards to who we are, and the same way we want to get to know you guys. So in the comments section below, feel free to sound off who you are, what type of music you make, where you're from, because the whole purpose of this podcast and this show is to make it an experience about community. So whether you're looking to collaborate with like-minded people, that's the whole purpose of this. So sound off down below, all right? But... um. For starters, we're going to tell y'all who we are. So, Jay, um, let the people know, who is J.S., a.k.a. The Best? J.S., a.k.a. The Best. Well, I'm also known as Jerome Smith, you know, government name. Uh, professionally known as J.S., a.k.a. The Best. On the music side, I'm a music producer, composer, engineer, uh, play, obviously, piano, keyboards, uh, electric guitar, bass guitar, every percussion instrument, um, Taught myself the business at a young age when I was like nine, ten years old. After I finished my homework, would you know go to the library, get the books on the business, because I ain't want nobody to take advantage of me. And then when the internet was mature enough to have the resources, you know, Google was sophisticated enough. You know, I started Googling. I was Googling everything that was Googleable, and <laughs> Googleable, Googleable. That is another word of the day, Googleable. Um, I just basically taught myself everything. So. Pretty much my credits include every network from Disney to BT, TV1, MTV, VH1, the whole Viacom branch, uh, ESPN, A&E, the Cooking Channel, Cartoon Network, uh, Nickelodeon, NBA, NFL. Uh, we all over the place. So that's that's what we do. Definitely. Definitely, man. Well, you know, so just to introduce myself, my name is Kyle Hunter also known as K-Sparks. I've been in the music industry for over 20 years, and I have been in the sync placement industry uh, going on for 15 years now. 
And essentially, I got started at a young age. I grew up in Queens, New York. They say Queens get the money. That's a fact. You know, I grew up seeing a lot of musicians that came from my community that were successful, whether that be Nas, uh, Cool G Rap, LL Cool J, Run DMC. I mean, the list goes on and on. Just culturally, Queens has such a dope vibe and dope, talented musicians. So that really had a lot of influence on me. Made a lot of mixtapes. Uh, had a lot of success with that. Got signed to some record deals. And then from that point, as time progressed, I got approached by a sync agent uh, that offered me the opportunity to place my music in TV and film. I never heard about it before, to be perfectly honest with you. I kind of thought like they were running game because, you know, like, <laughs> you know, artists, we always skeptical, right? Everybody's approaching you with a hustle. It's like, hey, you know, sell 20 tickets. I'll let you perform one song and all this other stuff, right? It's, it's always something that we got to contend with as artists. So I really didn't trust it too much. But needless to say, I gave them my opportunity. Best decision I ever made. Next thing I know, had like $5,000 just off the rip for a commercial placement. So I realized the power of music licensing. I've been doing it ever since. I have over a thousand songs in TV and film. Uh, you name it. It could be NBC, BET, Calvin Klein, Marie Claire, Vans, uh, Power on the Stars Network, Ralph Lauren, Forever 21, uh, ESPN, video games. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. So, you know, that's pretty much who I am in a nutshell. I'm, I'm also a CEO of a music licensing company. We help artists get their music and TV and film. So that's just, uh, you know, the, the nature of, of what I do, what I have done, and I'm passionate about helping people. So that's the whole purpose of this show is to give back, to educate, and to form a strong sense of community to help people. We want y'all to tell us who y'all are, too, at the same time so we can get to know y'all and how we can help y'all. But um, to answer your question, Jay, the next is the what. So can you tell the people what this is? What is Sync Music Mondays? Yeah, yeah, I would say for sure. Sync Music Mondays is a community. It's a platform. It's going to be a place where like-minded people can just, you know, spread knowledge. So it's, it, we, you know, me and Kyle, we have a lot of knowledge ourselves, but I'm pretty sure you all going to be teaching us a lot, you know, as well. So it's really a platform just to share knowledge, experience, because guess what? everybody eats it's enough room for everybody to eat so it's like we don't need to be stingy with the knowledge like nah share that knowledge and guess what whenever one of us gets a placement now i'm not just talking about me or kyle i'm talking about you all too guess what we're gonna celebrate you because you you know you deserve your shine so guess what you're gonna get your flowers because you deserve it while you're still here absolutely absolutely that's a fact that's a fact and that's exactly what this is sync music mondays is a platform it's a community it's a family and that's what it is it's just to grow this and you know i'm speaking into existence because words have power this will be the number one uh music business platform in the world globally because it's going to be built up by like-minded people that support each other so at the end of the day if you're a producer you need a dope rap on a song you need a dope singer this community can provide that for you it's all about networking your network is your net worth. So we understand these things, you know, and that's what this is about. Financial literacy for your music, being able to do things that you conventionally couldn't do. You know, they got the quote unquote uh, struggling artists. And we, you know, we don't adhere to that over here. You know, we're about wealth building in terms of mentally, spiritually, right? And musically, you know, just building you up. So that's what this is about, man. You know, that is, you know, the what this is in essentially, you know, now, Transition into the the win, right? Every Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday, eight, eight locked and loaded, eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can catch it all across digital platforms, whether it's Spotify, iHeart, uh, Apple, whatever platform you like, YouTube. We're gonna be here doing what we do. All that, and of course, make sure you know you follow us on Instagram. Twitter, uh, and also music licensing on Instagram as well. Definitely, definitely, man. And I mean, we pretty much went through the gamut, Jay. Um, I think the last thing is um, the why. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you say um, you're passionate about this dynamic of teaching for artists? Because, I mean, you, you've been so successful, man. You had, like, collectively, we had, like, over 2,000 sync placements. So I guess... Why why are you passionate about this, teaching at this point? 
For sure, because I'm always getting questions, whether that's in person, through my DMs, comments, whatever it may be. Just like, how do you do what you do? Like, how did, how are you doing this? Like, you're making this look so easy, but like, I'm struggling. I don't know where to start. So it's like, I can always individually answer those questions, but sometimes it's like, I just wish I had a platform to really like go into details and like give you step by step, play by play, what it took to get to, you know, this place, this place, this place. So this is like the perfect place. And I haven't seen, I don't think either one of us has seen anybody that looks like us doing what we're about to do. So it's like, it only makes sense. We fill in the void. We fill in the void. I, I agree with you 110%. And, you know, the same way you said, like, you know, I think a lot of times when it comes to learning, sometimes people just learn better when things are relatable. So when you see people that look like you, that talk like you, it just makes the information more digestible, you know, and that's what we're doing. It's like, like I said, we, we're passionate about this. We want to see people win. Um, collaboration is greater than competition. And um, that's what this is about. Um, I also know the same way you said, like, I get a lot of DMs. I probably like my email right now is like maxed out because I get so many emails and so much music and people have questions. They want to know, how can I monetize my music? How can I get it in TV and film? Um, I've had artists tell me how they got taken advantage of, how, you know, the landscape now for music licensing is very predatory in some cases. So you have people and you have companies who they got sync summits, they got sync seminars, but all they really doing is sinking their pockets with artist money because a lot of artists aren't able to benefit from these things. It's like if I'm paying for a, a sync summit or a sync seminar, I'm paying for access, Right, I'm paying for knowledge. That's why people go to college, right? You pay for knowledge. So if I'm paying for a course or a seminar, it's because I want to get access. I want to get knowledge. And if I'm giving my money, but you're not giving me access, and I'm going to see a panel of 10, 20 people, and all they're talking about is what they've done, you know, and stroking their ego, but they, they summarize it with, but don't email me directly. Well, then you essentially just took my money and didn't do anything for me. You know, and, and that's the thing that pe that's the side people don't talk about. You know, that's a little dark side there. So we want to just destroy all that, to be perfectly honest with you. We want to be transparent. We want to build relationships. We want to help artists have tangible information that they could apply. So at the end of the day, they can make money. You know, it's a lot of artists out here that are trying to make a way for themselves, trying to make a way for their families. And, you know, we really want to be that platform and that community that can help them do that. So that, that's exactly the why. You know, it is very possible for you to create generational wealth in music. You just got to know the knowledge. That's it. That's it. That's it. Knowledge is power, man. So, I mean, that's pretty much what it is in a nutshell. You know, with this first episode, that's what we wanted to do so y'all can get to know us. And like I said, we definitely want to get to know y'all. So please leave comments, Um, you know, where you're from, what type of musician are you, what interests you? You know, if you're not an artist, are you a manager? Uh, what do you do? You know, and that's where we're going to take it, man. So this has been a dope episode episode out the gate you know and um we're just gonna continue building man we're gonna continue building so you know shout out to y'all and until the next time peace we out